quite a number of people have no clue where to begin when faced with a series of tasks. Let's have a look at two very practical techniques to help you find out where your priorities really are. The first is a very simple trick, the so-called two-minute rule. Imagine you are faced with an unexpected task. Then ask yourself, can I complete it in under two minutes? If so, do it. If not, push it back or delegate it. To help you decide whether to postpone or delegate a task or not do it at all, you can use Eisenhower's matrix. It is probably one of the best known tools to help you prioritize tasks. The tool is named after former US President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who left us these famous words. Urgent matters are rarely important, and important matters are rarely urgent. Let's have a closer look at this matrix. The Eisenhower matrix helps you to prioritize tasks by sorting them by urgency and importance. We are all familiar with jam-packed to-do lists with jobs you would like to finish or tasks you need to complete because there is a certain time pressure. Amidst all this stress, it can be quite challenging to decide which tasks need to be dealt with first. Jobs that need to be scheduled and tasks you better not do. This division is clearly illustrated in the Eisenhower matrix. As you can see, the matrix shows four quadrants. They represent the difference between important and unimportant tasks on the one hand and urgent and not so urgent tasks on the other hand. Quadrant 1. Important, urgent, do first. This quadrant contains tasks that require your immediate and undivided attention. For instance, dealing with an angry customer, or fighting an imminent deadline, or facing a computer crash. There's an accident at work, there's a fire, for instance. Quadrant 2. Important, not so urgent, schedule. The tasks in this quadrant are important but not urgent. Most of the time, this section is about tasks that will help you achieve your personal and professional goals. It is a very vital quadrant as it contains elements that will help you develop your further career. Some examples of tasks in this quadrant are self-management, launching new projects, exploring new markets, investing in self-development, extending your personal network, etc. The first quadrant is all about reaction, whereas the second focuses on proactivity. Quadrant number three, urgent, less important, delegate. This is where all our most important time wasters hide. They require our direct attention, yet they are of moderate importance. The best you can do is delegate them to other people. These tasks include unexpected phone calls, meetings that do not require your attendance, useless email threads, unannounced visitors, meeting other people's priorities, etc. Quadrant number four. Not so urgent, less important, don't do. In the fourth quadrant, we often find futile elements that do not add to the quality of our work. If your day consists entirely of this sort of tasks, you are likely to leave work with a feeling of having done a lot but achieved very little. Don't do them. Here's some examples. Surfing the internet, daydreaming, constantly checking your emails, gossiping, compulsive tidying, etc. The essence of Eisenhower's priority matrix is to break down your tasks as efficiently as possible between the first and the second quadrant. Focus on the second quadrant, as it contains tasks that are likely to add to the quality of the result.